What is up guys, welcome in, my name is Nick and welcome to the channel. Now today we are back once again in iRacing and we are going to be taking apart in our first proper series. Um, after graduating to our D license uh, last week, I posted a question to my members for them to decide uh, which one of the, I think it was four options I posted they wanted me to see. It was the Clear Cup, the Touring Cars, GT86 and the GT4, um, if I remember correctly. Uh, and uh, being the awesome people that they were, they gave me a 50-50 split. So I have taken the elective decision to do touring cars for season two of the 2024 season. So, um, yes, we have gone with the Hyundai Veloster and uh, week two is when we're starting and it's going to be at Sebring. So let's get to it. Right, guys, so you join me in, if I can get it moving, uh, the Hyundai touring car and we're going to go do some qualifying. Um, and I spend the pits. That's a good start. I've got to press the print limit button, so we'll see what happens. I don't actually know what happens with that. If you speed the bits in qualifying, um, yeah, so that's going to be fun to work out. Um, we're going to go pretty slow for the opening lap because you've got to warm all the brakes and the tyres up and stuff. Um, I am not particularly quick in these at the moment. The fastest times are around a 2.14. I'm around the 2... But it's, in theory, I can get 2.16s if I can piece everything together. But the quickest I've managed to put together is a 2.17.7. I'm averaging about 2.18.5 to 2.19. So we are pretty slow. Um, we're car number three in the lobby. Strength of field is about 1,100, nearly 1,200, I think it said at the beginning. So God knows what's going to happen here. Um, so we get two flying laps for qualifying. I'm just getting everything up to temp at the moment. And hopefully we don't absolutely bin it through our qualifying attempts. So yeah, see how we go. Okay, so everything seems to be warmed up. Hopefully we don't ruin going into this last corner because it a, has a big impact on your actual time. I can never do this corner twice in a row. Not the worst I've got through there. The best, apparently, because I'm still losing time according to my PB. Thank you, Mr. Chief. Uh, yes, I know I haven't got the add-ons installed just yet. I really do need to do that. I just keep forgetting. Not a terrible run. And we're up my PB at the moment, apparently. Never get that corner right. This is one of the better runs I've had of late, I must be said. I've been doing a fair bit of practicing for this, and uh, yeah, I've been. Not the most consistent, it must be said. Why did I change down there? I never changed down there, why did I do that? Right, got this last corner to do. I've So the last time I've raced Sebring before now was in Forza Motorsport 7, if it was in that one. So it's a good long while, and even then I could never get this corner right. Oh, I like this, I go very wide, so this is going to affect both my laps now. Yep, we dropped over a second in that corner. One more lap. Does that give us a 2.18.9? Abnormal lap invalid, I think. I'll need to watch back and find out where I invalided that lap, because I didn't feel anything myself. Unless it's the black flag. It could very well just be the black flag that I got, but not putting the pit limit on as I left. Because I'm not going to lie, I am a little bit nervous about doing my first proper race in iRacing. I know I've done the MX-5s, but this is, it just feels different for some reason. I've got a little asterisk on all of these ones, so I don't think this time is going to count anyway. So it's all for naught. I think we're going to be starting at the back.
a lot of time through that corner this time. We weren't too bad last time, though. We lost three tenths through there. Too quick into there. Too slow into there. Ah, horrible run through there. So we've had a slow time and a worse time. And I don't think either of them are going to count. Yeah, there we go. The, oh well, where did we end up? Not at the back, but pretty much at the back. P12. Okay. We expect to be fighting for the podium. Okay, that's fighting for the podium from 12th in my first race in iRacing. Interesting. Don't know how well it's going to go, but we shall find out. Main thing is, obviously, try and avoid any form of incidents, and um, we should hopefully pick up some places from that, because the few videos I... Well, the few live races I've watched while I've been sort of getting myself up to speed with this one... Um, can be a bit of a war of attrition. So, as I think I race in is in general from what I've been seeing. But anyway, we shall see how we get on. We've got car number one in front of us, so he obviously decided not to qualify or had a terrible qualifying session. Uh, but yeah, we shall, we shall see how this goes. Uh, we're not in this for any form of end goal. We're just here to enjoy ourselves and have fun. And um, yeah, let's do that. Right then, we've got the lights. And a horrible start. Oh, there we go. We've got carnage on the inside already. We got a nice clout from the Elantra coming through as well. Must admit, I got a little bit target fixated on what was happening on the left to really pay attention. I remember everything's cold. Packers will stay pretty grouped together already. They're nearly halfway through the lap already, and uh, <clears throat> there's not not much of a gap to speak of. Almost following the Elantra off there. Elantra's weaving all, that, all over the place. Left off a little bit early because I don't know where people are breaking. Trying to figure out where the Elantra is to remember to change gear. They're in the top ten. Okay, we've made it top ten. Elantra getting all kinds of out of shape. Oh, we've lost one of them. Need to stop being so stabby with the throttle. Mantra goes all kinds of deep. That's two positions up this lap, so it's a 15 minute race. Too quick into there. Just feel that steering wash me out wide. Got the run on the Honda. Really anywhere to go though. Wide into the S's. I don't want to hit the curbs too hard because you can damage your tyres through it. Yeah, good run out of the straight. We can. Oh, we 
we go. So it's another position made up. Smoke, someone's getting a little bit out of shape through the last corner. I'm just having a terrible run through it, as per usual. Honda's got a much better run than me, by the looks of it. Not really close enough to do a lunge, though, so... Oh, we're very wide. Honda always followed us wide as well, so that's fine. Totally missed my breaking point. Alright, we're gapping the Honda. We are a second clear now. Work on getting up to P5. It seems to be the lead group. We can see P1 all the way up the road. So we're actually in a pretty good shape here. Still pulling away from the Honda behind, but we are getting gaps a little bit. That was better though. Not as good as the guys ahead, but it was better than what I've been doing up until this point. Oh, I need to go out wide to come back in. I keep keeping it a bit too tight on the entry there. Oh, we've got someone pitting. He's a pack marker. Okay. Is he? No, he's not. That's the position. Whoa, no, no, we're going wide. Ah, it's our first X of the uh, race so far. Guy behind us caught up loads because of that turn one. I, mean, I think he is uh, much quicker than me. Whoa, okay. Oh, behind's run wide, so that's going to help keep him off my tail for a little bit. Back marker in front of us now. Only four seconds behind P4. That'd be P3 now, actually. Right, get in. Get in. Nope, just understeer. Nothing but understeer. That was terrible. I just can't get that corner right. Yeah, P4. No, I've got, I've got no front grip at the moment. I think I might have burnt my tyres, maybe. I don't know if that's a thing. Probably a thing. Or I could just be bad. That's also an option. I think I'm getting on the throttle way too aggressively, way too early. Just cooking them. I'm definitely forming a, uh, a train behind me. The train behind me is all over there. Just, uh, I'm not sure where he's looking up the very inside of that curb there. I feel he's going to probably get past me uh, at this corner. Turn one right this time, and the back marker is doing God's work and holding everyone else up. That's good. Oh, we're wide off the apex here, though. All right, they've cleared the back marker, so it's just me and these guys now. There's no white flag yet, so we've still got at least one more lap. I am catching P3, but I am being caught by P5, so you know, six of one. Probably going to get me alright to delay getting on throttle so much there because of the curb on the inside just threw me off balance. 
I'm not going to defend this. I'll lose too much time defending it from this guy. Ah, uh, it's just a few more laps than I wanted. We're pretty consistent at 2.18.6. Okay, so the guy who got past me just set the fastest lap of the race, so that makes sense. So I need to find more time in that corner because everyone else is quicker through there than me. And through here as well. So something I'm not doing that other people are doing and that is quicker. So I need to have a look into that. But that should be enough, as long as we don't absolutely make a hash of this last corner, to get us P5, which I am more than happy with. Yep, that is P5. And remember, I have to do the cooldown lap and don't drop into the back of anyone. Right, thank you very much, Mr. Crew Chief. Or Pono, as we're calling him. Beat Ponnington. I'm just going to go around and do a few more corners just to get a little bit more safety rating. Right guys, that is first race done. Uh, P5, pretty happy with that. And um, yeah, slight little bit of embarrassment with the black flag on qualifying. Let's start at the back. But, you know, um, I don't think we would have been much higher than where we were. I haven't looked at the qualifying times on there, but um, there were definitely, I think we might have been P7 maybe, based on the lap times. But yeah, we'll, uh, we should move on to the next one. Right, guys, back for race two here at Sebring. Um, I'm going to push the pit limiter this time, and uh, let's see uh, where we qualify. Um, I've still not really gained any speed. I've been practicing in between these two races, and um, still not really found any speed. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, right, everything's up to temperature, I think. Car feels okay. Let's make sure we get a good run through this one here. Green flag, green flag. Okay. There we go, first time lap. 220.2, yeek. Terrible run through that corner there. We had a good run through the first bit, but it was a bit tight coming in on the entry. Not the worst run I've had through either. All in all, not a terrible lap so far. Not a, we've had one okay sector. Comes down to this bit now. How well can I get through the S's? Oh, we just ran out of time. That <laughs> also works. Whereabouts did we qualify in the end then? Uh, P18. Okay. 
miles off the pace. We're going to be, I don't think we're going to be moving much further forward in this one, unfortunately. Uh, but we shall go to the grid. Hopefully we can pick up some stragglers again, like we did last time. So we're in top split, by the looks of it. There are a lot of points on the table. Be smart and get a good finish. Good advice, I guess. Oh, my light's turned off. There we go, that's better. Continuity. So again, just about being calm and measured. Get places where we can. And I'm ultimately just trying to find time because we are still down by a good couple of seconds where I want to be. We need to be doing 17s really as a minimum, reliably. And I'm just not there. Alright then, let's get ready. Green, green, green. Start from the guy behind us there. Much better start from the guy behind us as well. Missing the gear. He's backing out. Yep, just gonna let everyone through. We've got cold tires, cold brakes. Still there. Clear. Car on your left. You got a slow car on the left. There's an incident ahead. Still there. Hold your line. Clear on the left. Slow car ahead. Left side. Clear on the left. All right, well, we've picked our way through that. He says this is about to drive straight off the track. Immediately undone by me just smooth braining the track. Another one off. Grid much more spread out than the first race where I was in the lower split. We go wide there to get around him. Terrible run through there. Need to stop hitting the limiter as well. Oh, we've got dust and we've got someone off in the wall. Cones all over the place. Oh, it's all going off at the moment. The guy's getting impatient behind me, I think. I'm not going to let him pass because it's full position. He may be quicker than me, but he's got to find his way past. Yeah, it looks like he's probably going to have it here. But he is car number four, so he should get past pretty quick. Go. Didn't really fight that too much. Not really the battle I'm in this race. If anything, we can maybe pick up some tips. Okay, there's a lot more speed in that corner apparently. That's where he's managed to gap me a fair bit. Uh, over slowed into that one, I think. Another position of someone off into the wall on the right-hand side there. Seems very happy about it. Oh, 217 for the first time in a while. He just popped in from nowhere. That was a very slow corner for me as well. This bit, I feel like that first corner there I feel like I'm pretty quick through it's this bit here I'm struggling with I just can't get the line and the power and yeah I need to work on that I need to play with it a bit more I think I think my main thing is I am just over slowing that's the problem not trusting the tie and the chassis yeah, there's a cut 
But as I say, it's my first time outside of anything in the MX-5, so I'm still getting to learn the, the, the model and stuff like that, so... Yeah, he's going to have me here. He's got the draft as well. I think the guy behind is also going to follow him through soon. I didn't want him behind me. He was looking very impatient. I'm still trying to learn. So, last thing I want is this guy. He's already... Gave me a tap coming through that corner, the uh, for turn one. So uh, he's the guy who was pissed he got knocked off early. So we're just going to let him go, and he can go and be angry at someone else. Because he he's driving like he's going get, to get into another shunt if he's not careful. I think. Right, I think this is probably going to be us, to be honest, because the other people are 18 odd seconds behind. That all kinds of wrong. Got someone else having another incident with someone by the looks of it, based on chat. Don't go over the inside of that curb, that's a good way of damaging your wheel. I think I'm turning in too much as well. Like I'm putting in too much lock, I'm getting understeer. So I need to look at my steering angle, I think, as well. Okay, that went all kinds of peak tongue there. We were on for a good lap until that moment. Almost six seconds quicker than my last lap. No. On the throttle too early. Too tight an entry line again. Come on, pay pay attention. F fix what you're doing. You know what you're doing wrong, so stop doing it. Oh, last lap was still a 2.18.6, so that would have been a much quicker lap if we'd uh, hadn't messed up through the S's there. Oh god. There are lots of cars out right at the end here. So the reason I, I know it said go right, the reason I went left is it looked like he was moving on my screen, so I just wanted to go towards the where the back of his car was. So I don't know what's gonna go what happened there. We will have to go and check that after the race. My guess is the back marker got involved somehow. And for those wondering, no, I don't have voice chat on because I don't need that kind of my, that kind of stuff in my life. Voice chat serves nothing but to anger you so I don't have it the same with all chat in most things like uh, league and what have you it serves no benefit to you it's just going to annoy you so I don't bother I don't think we're going to get a top 10 unfortunately but that was never really on the cards Felt like a good run through that last corner this time as well. And then we're going to bring that home in... What's it saying? P12. Yeah, we'll take P12. There's the flag. It's over. Okay, we'll get them next time. Car 19 coming in P12. Uh, should be some good progress. Uh, not through pace at all, uh, in any way, shape or form. Um, but through consistency. And staying on through attrition so yeah that was it was an interesting race it was more hot lapping than the last one um obviously because we are we were in top split um i um, would be i imagine my i rating is going to be very very much bottom of the top split considering where our car wasn't ranked 
Um, no doubt a lot of people, if you are iRacers, are having a go at me for my horrific car control and racing lines and all that sort of stuff. But I am here to learn. So if you do have any knowledge for me, uh, any places to look, guides and things like that, anyone I should follow for more stuff, bear in mind I'm using touring car stuff. It's um, I know a lot of people mostly do GTs. Not really looking into the, doing the GT stuff right now. So, yeah. All I would say, if you, before you leave a comment telling me how bad I am, do me a favour and give me some constructive criticism rather than just some criticism. Um, but yeah, we'll just finish off this final lap here to pick up some more safety rating. Right, let's jump in to the results. Okay, so iRacing was um, having a trouble updating the re records um, last well, when I recorded this yesterday. So we're just going to go through and have a look at the um, summary for both races now. So let's have a look at the first race. So we started from uh, P... I remember now, slightly P12, that was it because we um, accidentally black flagged our qualifying. Uh, finished P5 after all was said and done. One instant point. That gave us a nice boost to our safety rating at a, up to a 2.7. And uh, we just cleared the 1400 mark in our I rating as well. A nice healthy 33 point gain. So that was a pretty good result all in. And obviously we were in the bottom of the two splits as you can see here. So a slightly weaker strength of field. So a better result was expected based on I think it was 1375 I rating we went into that race on. Uh, so having a look in the second one here. So this is where we started from P18. And we came in to finish in P12, I think it was. Um, yes, P12. P started P18, finished P12. So uh, it's right there on the screen. Try actually reading it, you moron. Yeah, this was, again, a nice, good one here. A little bit a lower safety rating increase because we had uh, an extra couple of instant points. But we also still gained a nice chunk of I rating there. So much higher strength of field. It almost double from what it was in our first race. So even though we finished lower down, we were against higher skilled people. So even all these people here behind us who were, most of them had a higher I rating than I do. In fact, all of them did apart from one. Meant that we still gained uh, I rating on there as well because we would just managed to stay moving and stay alive. So that is the, uh, that's pretty good. So yeah. The other bit we want to look at is the replay for what happened to that Omega shunt on the uh, last or penultimate lap um, that got me a lost ditch few places as well. So let's have a quick sneak peek at that. Okay, so we will, we're, yeah, it was on the last lap of the final or the second race here. We'll just run through from my POV, just run from chase cams just so we can remind ourselves uh what happened that's not the play button that's the play button get rid of that now so yeah as you can see by the time we get down here there's just sort of cars all over the place uh i was kind of blinded by the sun to see where that guy was so i wasn't quite sure where to go got myself a little bit confused and uh, we managed to navigate through that picking up i think it was three places in the other two places because one's a back marker so let's jump to said back marker and see what prompted all of that this was a guy who was facing the wrong way, so he's probably a good shout on this one here. I think this was the back marker as well, if memory serves. Uh, so yeah, let's have a look. So he's very much on the tail of the red car here. Okay, uh, so net code happened a little bit. Uh, that's the immediate thing that pops up here, because as you can see, the we just play this forward a little bit right here uh i can never remember how to actually control the camera in i racing so bear with me while i struggle through this it's not the easiest of uh wants to is it so it's kind of no um it's just you know no okay buttons i'm just pushing buttons at this point uh, okay here we go it's probably be a bit better so yeah you can see we are within about a foot of each other at this point and um all going well fine and uh, do, 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 do. Push, push, play. So we've now moved apart from each other, moved back in. So now again, we're within about one foot of each other. No contact really happens here, but the game thinks that it's probably potentially going to happen, maybe, probably. 
So netcode happens, um, which um, for experienced R race people, I don't need to explain netcode, but it's basically like a presumptive bit of software that uh, runs alongside it because ping and stuff, the server kind of guesses to see if it thinks it's going to have contact just to uh, work that sort of stuff out ahead of time. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit shonky uh, sometimes. So, And you get stuff like this where there's contact, but there isn't contact. And uh, yeah, then we end up with 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 all this happening here with this Audi, and he's just yep. And he gets a nice crunch. He gets a crunch. He gets a crunch. So we got a wheel there, and then someone makes it through. They're fine, and then we are just going to be pootling along. Uh, no buttons. Fucking button. No. Oh my god. This is no. 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 Ah. Uh, I'm confused and scared. There we go. All right. Done. At which point we are somewhere. Where are we? Oh my god, this is what oh, this is like giving a three year old on a remote. We've made it through apparently. I don't know where I am. Oh we're on lap eight, we're on the wrong lap, that doesn't help. Okay, right now back we're back to where we were after my horrific attempt at controlling this. No, leave leave the lap button alone. Gosh, it's like it says like giving a hyperactive three-year-old the remote and just whatever you want to happen doesn't and it just triggers you no end uh and I'm, I'm doing it myself and i'm the one that's getting annoyed by it so let's jump forward to this guy just gets caught up in the whole thing that happens this i mean from what i can see there's no brakes put on from this guy here uh can we jump to him and can we change to chase rear uh, is that is it, are those brakes? Uh, he has got. Mm -hmm. so, okay, let's have a look. This is going to be the best bet to see if we see brakes come on at this point. So. Uh, well, given the benefit, of, yeah, there's there's definitely something illuminated there. I think. Ooh, well. So I say something and then immediately doubt myself in what I was saying. Uh, yeah, it looks like something triggers here. I don't think that's a visual bug, so I'm assuming that's his brake lights here and they look like they are on the entire time, so fair play to that guy. This guy could have used his brakes uh, to, as considering he was watching just carnage unfold in front of him. So he first spots the accident happening here. So if we if we jump on board, do 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 cockpit. There we go. So we're watching, gonna watch it from his actual view. So kind of jump full, so you can see him coming off here. Now from here, you, you got to think that this there's gonna be some form of Newton's law of whatever it is, and someone going that way very hard, very quickly into a, a relatively immovable object means it's gonna back back that way. For me, I would have been. And just go like okay i'm gonna maybe move over here immediately he, he doesn't move over here immediately this guy gets absolutely thrown across there so it's a good job he wasn't over here but that would have been my immediate thought is to get the complete opposite side to whatever was happening over here and um i, he, I don't think he actually takes his foot off the accelerator if we listen to the engine note Nope, the only only change I hear in engine note is about there. So about here. If he if he uh, even here, like if he started putting his brakes on here, you could have had he would have had time to figure something out. But no, he just So that's kinda on him, I think. It's net code ultimately, it's I don't I can't really apportion blame on this one to be honest. Not that I mean not that every instant requires blame it's just do you really need to be this close i'm relatively new to wire racing and even i know I, a net code exists and do you need to be within a foot of each other like i mean arguably yeah like this guy could have stayed more on well he's ahead so he could he's down to him to kind of choose where he's going but he's not fully ahead because they're still alongside kind of Hence why that netcode happens in the first place. I don't know. It's a tough one. Um, you guys let me know what you think. Race an instant, personally, because it's, I mean, there's no malicious thing on this. This is the guy who's who's changing his line. So I think we'll 
fall on him more than this guy because he if we use this seam in the middle of the track he is going relatively in fact he even steers away from the red car and this red car moves i mean that is that is the line through there you can see like the worn bit because you do drift out to the left obviously for that hairpin at the end you would have the call saying he is alongside you can't move into a space already occupied by another car so just clumsy i think just just clumsy that's my two cents on it let me know what you think Right guys, so that is that one there. I hope you enjoyed those two races. It was certainly um, fun racing for both of them for different reasons. One of them obviously we were fighting near the front and we were having to pick our way through and we got some good battles. The last one we were just sort of making sure we stayed in the race and picking up um, positions that way. We're not quite on the pace for Sebring. Hopefully, um, the I think next week is Donington, I think. Uh, hopefully we'll have a bit more pace there if you did enjoy this do drop me a like leave me a comment and uh, if you have yet to do so please please subscribe we are desperately in the hunt to get to a thousand subscribers asap it'd be a must help for me if you haven't already to press that button if you like this one the on screen now will be the um, playlist for all of my iRacing content which so far consists of my journey to this point of my two weeks in well two weeks the two videos that i've made in the uh, rookie series uh, and yeah if you did like this one i hope to see you in the next one cheers